Hello YouTube, this is Tutorials on Game Salad. I'm very sorry that I haven't uploaded a new tutorial in a very long time. I kind of totally forgot about this channel and I came back to check it and I've kind of got back into Game Salad. So, today we are going to do menu screens and splash screens. Uh, if you don't know what a splash screen is, it's kind of like what you'd see when you open up an app. Say you, the app is called, uh, I don't know, like, uh, Alien Attack or whatever. Um, it would say Alien Attack by Alien Attack Corporation or whatever. I'll put an example on the screen right now. Um, so you can go check out what that is. And we'll get into menus. So, let's get started. This is sort of what it's going to come out as. Uh, actually, before I do that... If you don't have Game Solid, you can get it at GameSolid.com, which is here. And you just press Make Games Now, and then start free download. Pretty straightforward to download it. Alright, so now, this is sort of what it's going to come out as. I made a little thing that's not very detailed, and you can add as much detail as you want to it. But this is sort of what it looks like. So it starts with splash screen. After two seconds, it go to the menu, and see this. This is not on a timer, so it will stay here indefinitely until I press the play button. And here's your gameplay. So, to do that, uh, make a new game style project. Like I said, this one. Um, since iPhone six is out, I'm I like doing iPhone six lands landscape. You can call it app what your app whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as that. Okay, so, um, rename this scene to Splash Screen. Uh, and add two more scenes. This one's gonna be called Menu. And this one's gonna be called Gameplay. Or you can name what, use whatever you want. Start the Splash Screen. You're gonna, uh, make a new actor. You can call it whatever you want. But I like to be organized, so I'm gonna call it SS Text. And splash uh, SS stands stands for splash screen. Um, and go into color. Click the white thing right there, and turn opacity down to zero so you won't see a white box behind it. Um, and then go down to the behaviors and press uh, drag over display text. You can put up whatever you want here. So I'm just gonna put uh, tutorials on game styles or yeah, tutorials on. Um, I like future font. You can do whatever kind of font you want, though. So, um, the future, uh, and a nice kind of, like, turquoise color. Teal, whatever. And then, don't forget to drag it in, or else you won't have a splash screen. Wait, before you do that, sorry. Sorry about that. Create a rule. I mean, not a rule. A, uh, timer, or get the timer behavior, and do after... You can do it as much as you want, but not if you don't want to annoy people, just do two. Two seconds is good. And then go up and do change scene and do menu. So now you can drag it in. And what I like to do, I like to center it so you can use arrow keys to move it around, get it right on the, uh, the crosshair. Now I press play and tutorials on game style. Wait two seconds. Bam. Now we're in the menu. Uh, so let's go up to scenes here and press menu. Uh oh. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, again, so can be pretty slow sometimes. So now make another one called menu text, or uh, again, you can do it whatever you want. Menu text, uh, color opacity to zero, and do display text. Say play font Futura, and you can just do like the yellow, just type the yellow, orange. Um, and now create a rule. Oh no. Actor receives event, touch is pressed, go down, 
uh, whoops. change scene to gameplay. And now drag this on. Center it again. You can use your arrow keys to move it around. And press play and play. And now we're in gameplay. And now, again, in your gameplay, you're not just gonna have like a text that says gameplay. You're gonna actually have like a real game, not just a useless app that's gonna be sitting on your home screen. So go to gameplay, make a new actor. I'm just gonna call this gameplay text, or yeah, I'm not gonna get into any behavior with like cool like effects or whatever right now. So. Here, this up. Color is gonna be opacity zero again, zero percent. And if you don't know what opacity means, it's sort of like the transparency, the uh, the as much you can see it. So if it's gonna be at fifty percent, it's gonna be like half clear. Um, and now this one's gonna be the easiest one. Display uh, just all is gonna be display text. Um, say game play with parentheses. Uh, it could be orange, sort of like that, Futura, and I'm actually going to do one more thing with this, that will make it a little more interesting, um, make up another one, it says like back to menu, go in here, make it pass it to 0%, and display text, say back, or back, no, let's not put it less than sign. Back to menu. Future uh, color is gonna be oh, like pinkish, hot pink, purple thingy. And uh, create a rule. Actress's event touch is pressed. Change scene to menu. So uh, let's drag this on. That's already there. Okay. And back to menu can be like up here, sort of right there. So let's see how this comes out. Go back to splash screen. And let's play. So two rounds of games now, two seconds. And now play. Uh oh. Okay, but let's see. Back to menu. Yeah, okay. So actually, with the buttons, I'm gonna have a little background, just a tiny bit. Uh, actually, never mind. Okay, so this needs to be more over, um, and definitely smaller. So, about 15 maybe, half the size. Uh, this is special. Game. Okay. You can adjust whatever you want here and back to menu, play, and endless loop if you want to. So, that is it for uh, this tutorial. I am sorry that I quit the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The pin, pinball, what was it? Uh, Labyrinth game. I will try to pick that back up. I'll just have to write the program again. Um, not exactly write it, you know what I mean. Um, but thank you for watching. I have received lots of positive feedback. And everyone wants, uh, most people want me to continue with the series, and they had lots of questions. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.